Vril excerpts. In the first place, Vril is held to be a great cosmic principle of very fine energy permitting all forms of matter and eminent in thought processes as well, being employed by the principle of mind in its work of thinking. But Vril is not identical with mind. Mind is held to be a prior manifestation of the infinite. From the mental principle arose Vril, and the grosser forms of energy, and then the forms of matter fine and gross. In this original sense, Vril is perceived to be a great universal principle from which proceeds a multitudinous manifestation of activities. Vril, in this phase of existence, cannot be defined any more than any universal principle can be defined. We have no words with which to define or explain when we descend to the consideration of its manifestations that we are able to explain or define it in our finite terms. In the second sense of the term, Vril is the principle of inner vital power or energy found to be eminent in all forms of specialized matter, inorganic or organic. It is this very power to act and move which the arcane teaching holds to be the second phase of the existence of real. Body may possess sensation and will, ability to feel and ability to exercise volition, and yet not be able to act and move. Real, then, in its second phase of manifestation or existence, is the inner power of action and movement of all material forms of the universe. Real, then, is the fine energy of force which enables material things to move of their own power, the power within them. Gravitation, which contradicts all the minor laws of physics, is seen really to be real, life energy, and vital force in its second phase of manifestation. Real, in the second phase of manifestation, pervades all space. It is imminent in the universal ether. Wherever anything is, real is in its second phase of manifestation. Vril, in its third phase of manifestation, is the energy which performs the functions of life in the living organism. Full breath, breathe in fully, do not strain, do not force, settle into it, see. Science of breath. For way too many details, or just read chapter 8 in the real book called Vril and the Breath. That's not an excerpt from the real book, that's a note. And I'm just trying to explain the full breath. You should not strain it when you're like nearly fully inhaled. Don't strain, do not force it. Um, if you try to settle into the ideal pattern of breathing, right away um it will be awkward and strained and you must settle into it gradually adjusting to the correct ratio instead of forcing the adjustment all at once real absorption exercise from lesson nine the following exercise will serve as a general guide to those who wish to increase their power of real absorption 1. Practice the full breath as heretofore described, and while inhaling, picture in your mind the absorption of real first by the nerves of the nasal cavity in the back of the head, and then by the cells of the lungs, at the same time willing that the real be so absorbed, or 
If it is preferred, it may be stated in this manner. Will, that the system absorb an increased amount of rill, and at the same mentally picture the process of absorption, or perhaps a third form will be easier for some. Will, the vril absorption, and at the same time feel that it is underway. For anyone that is familiar with Robert Bruce's energy workbook, that quite reminds me of it in that there's multiple ways to work with energy. One is a visual based uh, method, but you may also work through uh, the sensations or feelings like through other senses. The first step in real absorption is the realization by the student that there exists in the atmospheric air a universal supply of real in such phase and condition as to render it easily assimilated by the nervous system of man and other living creatures. Um, there are several chapters in the real book where he talks about the presence of real in food and in water. And then he goes on to say that the most readily available source of it is in the air. The second step is the formation of a clear mental picture of this universal supply of Vril. Of course, Vril having no definite shape or form, color or outward appearance, the mind cannot form a picture of it as a thing of form, color or other tangible attribute. But the mind can image it as it would image a space filled with electrical power, magnetism, or ether. So it's clear, it doesn't have an actual uh, form, but you can symbolically represent it in the mind. The mind must enter into a consciousness of the presence of real and space all around one and in every atom of air that is breathed. This consciousness of that presence must be gained before further progress is possible. It must be dwelt upon mentally until the mind grasps its reality and becomes conscious of its presence, just as one is conscious of the presence of space itself. In the degree that this consciousness is gained, so is the degree of manifestation possible. You need to spend a long time meditating on real and, and just becoming aware of it present, and then you can manipulate it. You don't need to necessarily see it. You just need to feel it present, like how when there is a spirit nearby, you can feel a chill or other sensation. The next step is the realization and mental imaging of the faculty of the nervous system to absorb such amount of will as is required in response to the mandate of the will. The mind must visualize nerves as absorbing from air, and then it continues. So you use the will to absorb drill. You just will it. Application of real power from lesson. 10. When the student has acquired the knack of Vril absorption, he may apply the power of Vril to his physical requirements in many ways. He will have laid up a reserve store of Vril in the solar plexus and other centers, which he may direct and distribute to the various parts and organs of his body at will. It is possible for anyone with a little practice to acquire the art of directing the flow of rail to any particular part of the body. This will be found very advantageous in the treatment of physical troubles and weaknesses. This is referencing the chakras. Conserving Vril Power from Lesson 11. The arcane teachings hold that 
Not only does the wise person store up a sufficient supply of rail to meet sudden and unexpected demands, not only does he direct and distribute the oil to meet the requirements of his physical and mental system, but he also avoids unnecessary waste and dissipation of rail power and strives to stop all leaks of energy. Such person practices not only industry and thrift in relation to vril, but also manifests a wise economy regarding its conservation. Vril waste and dissipation occurs in two ways, viz. 1. Emotional waste and 2. Physical waste. The majority of persons are more or less prodigals along one or both of the above stated lines. They turn on the emotional or physical faucet and allow Vril to drip and dribble almost constantly, pure waste. Emotional waste is habitual with many persons who fail to realize that in every useless flow of emotional activity, they are really dissipating a portion of the life power and vital energy. One may avoid this emotional waste by watching carefully the formation of emotional habits. Emotional waste may also be prevented by carefully training oneself to control the physical expression usually accompanying the feeling or emotion. We have said therein, acquire the mental knack of rising above the plane of emotional feeling onto the plane of will, and there calmly watch and observe the storm of emotion without being influenced by it. And it continues, never allow yourself to become enmeshed and involved in the emotional storms or activities. Handle the emotions as the master does an instrument. But never yield yourself to the power and influence of slave or instrument any more than you would yield yourself to the power and influence of some ent entity outside of yourself. And the rest of that chapter talks about physical waste of vril through constant tension in the body and the use of alternating relaxation and tension of the muscles to refresh them with more of real. Also doubling up the effect of it all through mentally imagining it, doing it, while also physically doing it, being mentally present with the work. Um, Dr. Israel Rigardi has a lot of books and practices along those lines. The Psychic Phase of Real from Lesson 12. Uh, looks like I screwed up this note. Oh dear. Well, I'll just read what's there. The thought sent forth is colored and charged with real by the strength of the feeling or desire manifested in the majority of cases. But the trained mental scientist or occultist uses his direct willpower to accomplish the same result, using precisely the same method that he does in directing and distributing the vril to parts of his own body, or to the body of another person when he is giving personal psychic treatments as described in preceding lessons. Consider the two techniques that tell Kinesis Guru uses for moving objects. The first technique he has been doing and showing us for years is the emotional method. The second one he just started is the will method. There was more to this. But, um, hmm. Suppose. I'll have to look in the book right now. Huh. 
Gives a method for self protection. Talks about how the use of real makes telepathic messages stronger, makes mental influence stronger. Hmm. Psychic influence. In the various phases of what is known as psychic influence, or the effect of the mind of one person over that of another, real plays an important part. In the degree that the thought projections, thought waves, thought vibrations, or whatever term may be used, are charged with real, so is their effect upon the person receiving them. Just as the degree of clearness in the sound of the telephone depends materially upon the strength of the current operating the system, so does the strength of the real current materially determine the power of the thought vibrations sent from one person to another, over a short or long distance. In fact, Vril is the real force or energy in all manifestations of thought force, the mind merely serving to project that force by the will and to color it by the idea or feeling held in the mind. The thought sent forth is colored and charged with Vril by the strength of the feeling or desire manifested in the majority of cases. But the trained mental scientist or occultist uses his direct willpower to accomplish the same result, using precisely the same method that he does in directing and distributing the will to parts of his own body or to the body of another person when he is giving personal psychic treatments as described in preceding lessons. This fact, understood in connection with what we have said on the subject in the other books of the series above mentioned, gives one the complete key to psychic influence, mental science treatments, and other occult phenomena in which minds act upon mind or body over a distance. The general principle is the same in all of these cases. Persons may be treated by sending them thoughts of strength and vitality, or of courage and success, charged with strong currents of will impelled by the will of the sender. In the same way, one may send to another direct currents of will, and thus increase his or her vitality, energy, force, and power. Telepathic messages may be increased in power by charging them with an increased supply of will. Thought forms sent forth in a manner familiar to occultists may be energized and vitalized by charging them with the dynamic force of will. The student who is interested in this phase of matter should study carefully the lesson Mentalism in a Nutshell in the book of this series entitled The Arcane Formulas. Hmm. Well, these are the parts of the real book that I'm focusing on right now. First part is all about what is real, and it's th three different phases. And there's um, the breathing technique, which I already have down pat. Um, the principles of real absorption. And uh, uh, you can absorb the real in a very literal way, um, imagining it being absorbed into the nerves, or by uh, a more abstract mental picturing of it, or without even any mental picturing at all, feeling it happening.
need to uh, continue my studies of the chakra systems. And, uh, would do me good to spend more time actually observing them with clairvoyance. Hmm. And uh, emotional waste and physical waste have to conquer both of those. Hmm. Hope this helps someone in understanding the Vril and cultivating it and ultimately applying it to psychic abilities.